Alejandro Chavez, and I'm an employee of Stanford University working for the Center of Health Policy for Dr. Paul Wise. I am his research assistant working here in San Lucas Toliman, um, helping with the development of a nutrition application that will help collect data um, and also help identify kids that are malnourished. The promoters here in San Lucas have an existing paper system, and paper is often very unorganized. It can only be in one place. It's just a pain to be digging through a bunch of forms to find the right one. So that's a big thing that we thought the technology could help with, just much more organized and a much quicker response time, because with the paper system, it's been someone's full-time job to be um, inputting all this data from the paper forms into Excel. So it's usually a week or two until after the child's been weighed when they figure out this child needs help. So it's a bit of a process, but now with the tablet, they simply collect the data and then they can upload it when there's internet, and then the data can be viewed by the coordinators of the program right away, that same day or possibly the next day, um, and see which kids need help. Um, we decided to tackle this problem of malnutrition because it's a problem that has far-reaching effects. It's not just a child is malnourished. I mean, malnourishment means so many things and it has so many effects. It means this child's just more prone to being sick. Um, because a child dies of flu, that cause could be because of malnutrition. They have a very, their just response system is very poor due to being malnourished. Um, so the effects of being malnourished are very far reaching and that was a reason we decided to tackle the problem. It's also a problem that we saw that technology could help a lot with because it's a fairly sophisticated protocol and workflow to follow to determine if a child is malnourished. I've been living here in San Lucas Toliman for close to two years. Um, I've worked very closely with the promoters on a daily basis going out, um, getting feedback in the early stages of the application, getting feedback on what functionality is needed, um, what things lack, if there's some type of error that occurred. <laughs> the biggest goal of the application, I would say, would be to reduce training requirements for the health promoters. The paper system began, there's been a drastic improvement. Before there was an issue of child mortality here in the rural communities of San Lucas and that's now been eliminated. We still have malnutrition, but we've gotten rid of pretty much all the deaths and we've gotten we've also gotten rid of a lot of the third degree um, cases of malnutrition. We still have a lot of kids in second degree and a huge amount in first degree, but we've definitely helped those worst off cases. Esta tableta nos informa y trae toda la información del niño. Nosotros podemos ingresar la información del niño, cuánto pesó, cuánto talló, qué es lo que está comiendo. 
también como coordinadores nos facilita porque también nosotros tenemos la información en la comunidad con el hecho de bajarla del internet, nosotros tenemos la información a la mano en las comunidades, cómo está, cuando ya se hace una visita con un niño, cómo está su grado de desnutrición, qué es lo que está pasando con él, qué fue lo que pasó si bajó de peso, se enfermó, qué fue lo que pasó. Entonces en las comunidades también nos facilita el trabajo al momento de ir a visitar a un niño. Yo vivo aquí en la comunidad del Porvenir y yo no sabía cómo es el control de los niños de peso y talla. Yo no sabía nada. Y aquí, entonces aquí en Guatemala hay muchos niños que están en riesgo de esa desnutrición. Pero aquí en mi comunidad yo estoy viendo que es un cambio. Es un cambio de verdad. Y siempre estoy agradecido por el programa, con el programa que sí nos están ayudando. I believe that technology can make a big difference in these communities. I believe it could also be used and have no effect. I think it needs to be used properly and it needs to be built in a way that it's useful to the promoters. And that's a big reason why I've been living here for almost the last two years. To work closely with the promoters to get their feedback and build an application that they will find useful. So I believe when technology is developed in that way, it could make a difference. While Guatemala is lagging in child nutrition, it has a remarkably advanced telecom infrastructure. And with a vast majority of the population owning cell phones, the app may become increasingly easier to implement. We'd love to have your input, so if you know someone who's helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cgtnamerica.com or tweet us at CGTN America and tell us about a game changer you'd like to see on America's Now. America's Now.